Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Absolute Tech. It's gonna be a quick little video. Um, you, we can set up running Windows XP on the Mac very easy nowadays. Like it is so, 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 so much easier than it used to be. So pretty much first off, we need to download, if you haven't already, we need to download UTM very quick. Well, it'll take about a few seconds. All right, that's downloaded. Got to run it. Throw it in our applications folder. Close this out. Open the, our applications. It'll pop up right there. And there it is. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Here we go. What's new? Da, da, da. Okay, so. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to go back here. I'm going to link this website in the description so you can get to it really quick. We're going to gallery. Now we're going to hit XP. And what we need to do first is download the XP. Um, this. So what this is is like a configuration of the image. And what I recommend you to do is to put this, maybe, I'm going to leave mine here, but maybe put this, I'm going to extract it, it look like this. And maybe put this like in your documents or somewhere else because it's, 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 you don't want to delete this because this will be your configuration for your XP. So I'm going to click on it, double click on it, and it, it loads in your configuration. Now, next we have to get, um, Windows XP itself and there's a lot of options out there that you could do and I'm going to kind of tell you how to get one I'm not going to show you directly how to get one but if you read here it says you need uh, Windows XP ISO da, 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 da. this is and if you look this is a good one to get it says and I bet if you took these numbers and just right clicked and hit search Google for it. I bet that you would find your Windows XP. Now that's all I'm going to show you with that. It's going to take a little bit to download that because it is coming from an archive website. And that's all that I'm going to say about that. So the other thing is, uh, it says Spice tools are included, installed. But we'll see because I think the time that I did this before is that they wasn't. So once you get Windows XP installed, which I have mine right here, we're gonna go back to UTM. We're gonna go down here to the bottom. See where this says CD, DVD. We're gonna click this and hit browse. We're gonna go to downloads. We're gonna go to uh, XP right here and load that in. And then you want it to show like this. Okay, and then honestly, that is it. That's all we got to do. Now, there's some other steps I want to show you how to get things set up within XP. We're going to hit run. And it's going to do this. It'll take a second. I might actually, depending on how long this takes, I might speed the video up and down. So if mine's going a little bit faster than yours, just know that it is it's just kind of speaking to the video you know and another thing is, is what the only thing that you can change here and the only thing that i recommend changing and i should have i should had is your memory this is we got 512 megabytes we could have upped that to around i don't think any more than two would work so like one and a half maybe not quite two um that would make things go a little bit quicker Now we're back over here and it says unparted space and just hit enter. And then we're gonna go up to to format this promotion. And then this will take a few minutes. All right, here, just hit uh, next. Uh, just enter your full name. 
I'm gonna put absolute tech. And that'll be your computer's name. Hit next. And I am on Indiana East. I'm going to put AT. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful sound. <laughs> All right, let's get this going. Let's hit next. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can do the updates. There's not going to be any more left. can wait here and you can either skip this or right here and let it connect to your internet it's weird how we had to wait this long for this to work back in the day hit next mm, would you like to register in Microsoft no not me. And my name is going to be AT. Next. And that's it. Thank you. I do know if you guys are wanting to use like the internet, it says in here due to the age of this operating system, Internet Explorer will not work at loading most websites. 
so you should download Firefox 52 SR um, we were download that in a second okay so let's see if the tools are so did they go See what that looks like. Oh Jesus, that makes it too too damn small. It still makes it pretty damn small. So if you guys go to 1020 by 600, that gives you more of a wide network. All right, guys. Well, uh, that's it. Uh, feel free to give me a follow.